ladies and gentlemen, budding pilots, my name of course is Obito Potato, welcome to Merchant of the Skies. So this is a nifty little indie strategy game uh, where you literally build a trade company in the sky with these massive fantastical airships. Uh, we're gonna be jumping right on into uh, right on into a brand new game right on over here. Uh, we're gonna be playing through a little bit of the campaign. Uh, replay the tutorial. No thank you. I played through the tutorial. I know Roughly what to do as as is the as is the way with these things. I'm uh, I'm well versed in the tutorial But of course that is no guarantee that I'm gonna be any good at the game Right, so this is the world in which we uh, in which we inhabit now uh, Each and every each and every location that we come across will have a bunch of different facilities So right over yonder we've got the post office, which is fine. Uh, right over here, we've got the trade post, which we can uh, do a whole bunch of actions in, actually. We can buy and sell goods, or we can reduce tax if we were to pay wh whatever the heck that is. Three three boxes of matches, I guess it kind of looks like, but that doesn't particularly matter. Uh, we've also got the uh, the charge, the recharge station for our vessel, for our, our lovely, wonderful ship, which is over here at the moment, I do indeed believe. Uh, and then right on over here, we've got the shipwright, where we can purchase ships, or we can do a uh, resource delivery order. But anyway, uh, that doesn't really, that doesn't really help us at this present moment in time, because um, yeah, we need to, we need to, we need to find the old ruins or the old lighthouse ruins southwest now at the moment I do indeed believe uh, that our ship has no charge whatsoever so we are kind of looking to uh, to get a full recharge let's uh, let's lock and load that there we go bada bim bada boom it's something something complicated there don't really understand what that is but I'm sure we'll I'm sure we'll 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 learn as we go I, I'm also gonna see if we can try and buy or sell goods just to show you the interface and exactly what we've got going on over here uh, now I don't exactly know what the situation is in this specific town uh, but my understanding is is that we can buy a bunch of wood we can buy a bunch of wood we'll buy you know we'll buy all of the wood we'll buy nine wood it's gonna cost us 72 coins we've got more than enough coinage to um, to, to deal with that. Uh, we can also fuel the trade post growth, which is which is quite nice, but sort of a secondary objective uh, because what we're basically doing is we're going to buy whatever the, the, the outpost has and we're going to try and take that with us to the next location to see if uh, if we get the opportunity to sell it for more than nine, nine ducats a piece. Anyway, that doesn't particularly matter because we do indeed... We do indeed need to head on to the next area and it is... Yeah, this one. That's the button. Right, so we have the hint. We have the hint of the lighthouse being southwest, and that is, excuse me, that is totally, totally fine. Uh, the recharge station, yep, we don't know how expensive any of these products are. We still have to, to find out. Uh, but what we're going to go and do is we are going to try and go southwest uh, or south, what is it, southeast? It, it is, I just want to hold on. I just want to absolutely clarify. Is it, uh, is it southwest? Lighthouse restoration. It is indeed southwest. Okay, so south, west. It's like over here. So let's let's um let's set up a little course right over this way. Ooh, there was something over here. There was something over here. We're down to about uh, two thirds charge. Let me go over this way. Whitehaven. Okay, sure. Let's go and take a little look at Whitehaven and see what we've got over here. Let's dock up and see what the situation is. New trade post discovered. Wonderful. Um, I don't know if the, the ruins of the lighthouse are going to be here. I suspect they're not. That is a flying turtle. That is pretty interesting. That is indeed pretty interesting. Let's see Let's see what the situation is here. Uh, are we able to sell... Merchant won't buy this item. Okay, turns out we're not able to sell wood in this location, but that's okay. Expensive, expensive stone. I tell you what, I will buy... I will buy the stone. The reason that I'm going to buy the stone is uh, the last trade post that we were at, I uh, I did indeed see that we could sell stone. Yeah, so we're selling it for four, or we're buying it from for, for, for four coins here, and we can sell it for five when we're back at the uh, at the Kingsford at the Kingsford uh, at the Kingsford place. So that's cool. How much charge do we have? We've got 1.8 out of three charge. I'm going to chance it. I'm going to chance it. I don't want to. I don't want to risk it too much. Uh, but we'll come over. We'll come over this way, and oh, brilliant! Okay, let's uh, let's visit this aisle and see what we've got over here. Is this it? 
Island purchase. You can purchase and manage islands by clicking on the bottom, uh, the the button at the bottom right panel. Okay, cool. I mean, how much is it going to cost me to purchase this island? I mean, I would love to purchase this island, but unfortunately, I just uh, I ain't got the I ain't got the resources to do so at the moment. Right, so we'll scout for resources, see what there is here. Apparently, we can do that. We managed to get a little bit of wood. Uh, that's it. We get three wood. Okay, I mean, that's fine. That's, that's completely fine. I'm okay with that. Apparently, we required access to do that. That's cool. Uh, but we know that this island is purchasable now, so we can keep that in mind indeed as we go along. Uh, right, we've still got 1.4 charge, so... I mean, I feel like we probably need to progress downwards a little bit. Let me try risking it a little bit. We'll go a little bit past Whitehaven. Yeah, okay. And then we need to we need to try and get back to Whitehaven so that we don't completely uh took two batteries from the storage to recharge the ship. I don't want any batteries. I thought we would make it back in time. Okay, apparently we didn't. I think that those uh I think those orbs on the ship are are what I was looking for. Uh, or what the or what the batteries were. What am I looking for? I'm looking for yeah, yeah, merchants. This is the one. Okay, buy or sell goods. Yeah, so these are the batteries, I do indeed believe. So that's fine. Okay. Well now that we've got now that we've got that, let's recharge half the ship for uh for some more coinage, and then let's just go and explore. We need to go southwest, and so we're gonna continue to go and do that. I'm gonna do it manually. What is that up there? Not entirely sure what that is, but that's okay. Ah, majestic carrot. I mean, I don't want to risk it. I, I never want to. I never want to go too far. This is literally a majestic carrot. Oh wow! Start singing. Orange, green, blue, blue. Orange, green, blue, blue. Whoa! Carrot friends! Carrot acquaintance! Okay. Come back in three days. I mean, I don't entirely know that this is a valuable friendship to uh, to have, but it, it kind of feels that way. Uh, what is this over here? We gotta go and check this out. What is this? Extract? Sure. Cannot gather scrap. Uh, all modules are fully prepared. All right. Well, there's something else down here. Stone lock. Let's go and see what the situation situation over here, and see if we can pick up any more resources. And maybe, indeed, we could sell some resources. Ah, so we've got an inn. Bring bread to the inn. Bring apple juice to the inn. Trust level untrusted. Right. So I do indeed believe if we were to make some effort to uh, to to befriend these these fine folk in the inn. Then we would be, uh, then we would be able to do a bunch of bits and bobs with them, right? So we can sell some wood. So if I was to sell a whole bunch of wood to you, oh look at that! That's right. That is right. I will take that any day of the week. Brilliant. Have we got anything that's cheap here? We've got some berries. Or we got some apples. We got some apples. Um, I mean, I'm not going to take all the apples. Because I literally cannot afford them, but that's okay. Why don't we take 20 apples? Apples are just expensive as opposed to very expensive. And I'll check out the known prices. Yeah, as I suspected, Kingsford Kingsford will buy apples for a ridiculous markup. So that's the sort of that's the sort of stuff that I like to see. Uh, recharge for eight gold. Recharge half for four. I'll recharge half for four because we're uh, you know we're not super far off a full tank with a half recharge. And, uh, let's see... Let's see if we just want to continue... Continue down this way. There is something up here. Let's go over this way and see what we can find. It's a speed up. I mean, that's nice, don't get me wrong. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Let me go for a little... A little further explore around here. Slow down. Oh, come on. Alright, there we go. Thank goodness we made it in just before... Just before we ran out of juice, we're on 0.5 out of 3 batteries. That's not so bad. Uh, ship workshop, we can upgrade the ship. What would we like to do? Install axes allows chopping down trees. Okay, allows collecting apples. 
Right, so there's a bunch of stuff, but we really need more money before we're able to do any of this nonsense. Is this a, like, an unlimited use sort of thing, or is it just a, like, a one-time, a one-time purchase? That's a good question. I'm not entirely, I'm not entirely sure. There's a house, okay. Optimal crew is necessary for faster sailing, right. So we can hire people. Take tourists on board. I mean... Let me see, let me see what's in the merchant's shop before. That's a trade guild. Holy cow, this, this, uh, this Skykirk place seems like a pretty good place to be. Buy or sell goods, let's see. Is there anything that you want? Uh, that I have, mm, unfortunately, not really. Now, we could sell our berries, but the berries are only expensive here. So, I paid five. Average price paid is five. I'd get 123. But I think I paid, I think I paid the same, I think I paid the same level. So, I don't think I'm gonna do that. But don't quote me on that, don't quote me on that. Right. Take a guild task. Let's absolutely take a guild task. Deliver a letter to Alderpool Island. I mean, I straight up don't know where Alderpool Island actually is. Which does indeed kind of worry me. Uh, supplying the inns. I mean, yep, I'm, I'm on that as well. Find the fish god southeast and earn a bunch of wealth. I mean, we are we are trying to do all of that sort of stuff, but it's gonna take it's gonna take a little time to get to, to get everything together. Hire one person for eight gold. Uh, let's hire two people. Sure, hire two people and then also take a tourist on board. Visit the statue of Gritet the Explorer. Return the tourist to Skykirk Island. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? I mean, what is the capacity of this ship? I feel like we must be close to maxing it out. Ugh, I, I feel very, very uneasy about this. Well, you know, the good thing is, the good thing is that we have a full, a full ship, which is, which is quite nice. There is two arrows indicating, indicating northward travel. And that indeed looks like something that we need to go and find. Uh, there's nothing... There's nothing, there's nothing to indicate the directionality of the lighthouse. I don't believe so. I mean, let's go halfway there, sure. Okay, Copper Lock. Let's go and visit Copper Lock as well. I mean, I, I certainly feel like the initial... Oh, brilliant. Scout for resources. Yes, let's do this. So, forest. This is going to give us free wood, presumably. I certainly feel like initially, like, just trying to scout out... Everything that needs to be scouted out is pretty important. So, I feel like this is definitely something to do. It's like, definitely a, a job worth doing. Uh, the week is over. Oh, boy. Bankruptcy. Oh, goodness gracious me. Make sure you find the bank and pay back a thousand, ten, a thousand gold. Otherwise, you're going to lose the game next time, okay? I, I, yeah, sure. I didn't realize that the week was almost over. I guess this is the, the weekly calendar up here. Well, that kind of sucks, but that's okay. Uh, we've got a letter delivery to Alderpole. Let's see what we've got over here. We've got a recharge station and literally just a trade guild. Cool. Well, let's do that. We'll get 100 gold, then we'll take another task. Deliver a letter to Goldale Island. Brilliant. I will absolutely do that. Also, we've unlocked a skill and a perk, and that will allow us to do a whole bunch of stuff. What would we like to do? Uh, become one with nature, increase travel speed by 10%, tax optimization, trade post income tax reduced by 25%, personality form reduce human recruitment costs by 50%, just like in the Stone Age, gain one extra resource batches when you gather resources manually, banks want your money, you get 1% higher weekly interest rate, okay? I mean... You know how to run 10% off maintenance costs? Oof. Increase the trade post sold a good amount by 25%. Alright, I mean, a lot of this stuff seems really, really, really good. One extra building? I mean, I want to build buildings on an island once I own an island, but... That's not happening yet. We don't have any... We don't have any of this... We don't have any of this sort of... Any of this building nonsense that we need to really worry about. So, what we should probably do is just get Master of the Winds. Sure. Excuse me? Am I not able to do that? Seek knowledge from the giants southwest. Is that... Is that entirely impossible? Alright. I need to... I need to actually go to the giants in order to level up. Alright, I mean, that's... That's fine too, I guess. 
Uh, give me a half recharge. There we go. And then let's continue along this wonderful adventure, shall we? Uh, right. Let's head up north. Let's visit Blueborough. See what we've got over here. Storage is full in the sand pits. That's fine. Let's continue to travel upwards. Aha. There we go. See what's over here. I do indeed believe that the storage is full. I mean, I don't really want to empty out my storage at the moment. I feel like... I feel like it's too valuable. We, we've got too much, too much good stuff right now. But I could, I could dump some stuff. I mean, gems? Gems seem more valuable than wood. Can I even dump my wood? I don't even know if I can dump my wood. Right, you know what? I guess we're continuing. Sure, let's just chance it. Right, we've got some batteries on board anyway. So let's just freaking go. There we go. Visit the statue of Garit, the explorer. Here's hoping that we'll be able to sell some goods here. Right, what have we got? Workshop of Curiosities. I mean, we could indeed upgrade a ship. Ooh, a spyglass. See buildings of unvisited islands. Increase map reveal range by 50%. Magic sails. I mean, spyglass straight up seems like an absolutely brilliant upgrade. So yes, I will absolutely take that. See the buildings of unvisited islands. Increase map reveal range by 50%. I mean, that is a huge, 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 huge increase. Right. Let's visit the explorer. Now we've got the opportunity to return the uh, to return the explorer, not the explorer, the tourist back to back to where they came from. I don't actually have the opportunity to. I don't actually have the opportunity. I don't actually have the opportunity to recharge my boat here. I think we got to go down this way. Right. Took two batteries to recharge. Let me go over here. Aha. Is there a recharge station over here? I'm pretty desperate for a recharge station. Take a guild task. I'll take a guild task. There we go. Brilliant. Buy or sell goods. Ugh. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna ditch. I'm gonna ditch this. I feel like I'm just holding on to too many resources right now. Even though we're not gonna get a brilliant rate, I'm still gonna do it nonetheless. We've got a house over here. No more empty spots for any crew. So that kind of sucks, but that is what it is. Still no sign of a... Still no sign... Still no sign of a recharge station. I mean, there is a an area right over here, which I think we might want to go to. We've got a couple of batteries, so, you know, we can afford... We can afford to risk it. But I just need a recharge station. Is there a recharge station here? I don't believe it. I simply do not believe it. There's actually going to be no recharge station over here. Have I just, like, hit every area where there is no recharge station? Also, will you buy any of the junk? I mean, uh, products that I'm trying to buy? These are normal price. Okay. You know how I got rid of them last time? Well, now I'm buying them back again, because that's a, there's a killing that we can make on, uh, on that. So let's do it. Requirements do not meet. Okay, fine. Well, that's not happening then. Uh, we've discovered the second inn, so that's quite nice. And then there's a house over here as well, which is pretty darn useless, because there's nothing that we can do. Uh, what is the requirements that we actually need to, in order to fulfill that quest? Let me just straight up check. Oh, yes. We need to get 12, 12 of that, whatever that is. I don't presume that I'll be able to buy that right here, will I? I can buy seven spices over here. Right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna buy spices. We are gonna buy spices, but we're not gonna buy them here. We're gonna buy them from from out of town, and we're gonna we're gonna bring them back. Right. There is a recharge station in Alderpole. Maybe we go there. There's also Skykirk, which is where we need to bring the tourist back. Oof. I mean, this whole this whole endeavor makes me feel very apprehensive. I mean, I'm down to six batteries already, which may not seem like a ridiculous situation to be in, but that's okay. Current crew is four. Right, I didn't realize that we started with crew, but apparently we totally do. Right, let's just head straight down. 
Aha! Brightdale. This is this this could be my this could be my ticket out of here. It's just a flipping bank. Just give me a recharge station. Invest 50%. I mean I mean I, I need to I need to pay back my money. This is this is a thing that I need to do. Does that show up in my quest by any chance? I, I don't think it I don't think it does. Uh yeah, I mean I don't want to go bankrupt again. Can we invest 10%? Sure, we'll invest 10%. And investing 10%, invest more money or you lose if you go bankrupt. So, if I invest money, does that, like, allow me to just pay off my debt? I guess it kind of does. Well, it looks that way anyway. Alright, I mean, that's, that's a nice little find. That's a nice little find, but it doesn't really reassure me. In terms of what we've discovered. I'm also still looking for this lighthouse thing, which is southwest. But that's okay. Let's continue on downwards. Took two batteries from the storage. Yep, I mean, that was kind of an inevitability. Storage is full. No point in exploring the wonderful great sand dunes. Okay, there is a recharge station in Seafell. Thank goodness. At least... It finally happened. What have we got over here? Please let me sell some stuff. Very expensive. Oh, brilliant. Thank goodness. I'm over the moon. Right. Take my wood off my hands. That's that's brilliant. Was there anything else that was normal price for berries? I mean, sure. I can, I can get big on berries. And I tell you what. If we make a... I'm just going to buy as many as I possibly can. There we go. By as many as we possibly can. That's right. Uh, we don't really have the opportunity to upgrade the ship. We ain't got nothing. We ain't got nothing at the moment. Uh, recharge. Buy a half recharge, I guess. That'll take us back up to roughly where we need to be. And then let's head off. Right. I think we probably want to go to Skykirk. Yep. Skykirk. Drop off the tourist. Because there's big money in tourism. As we all know. Right. It is here, I do indeed believe. Fantastic. Okay, so a whole bunch of money and also a ticket. Or a cigarette packet, as it uh, as it looks like to me. I'll take another guild task as well. Ravenburn Island. Absolutely no idea where that is, even slightly. Buy or sell goods. What have you got? Spices are very expensive. However, I could just get it out the way. Let me see... The known prices. So, known prices of spices. Copper Scar, I mean, there's only seven available in Copper Scar anyway, and it looks like we're one... I think that's one turn away from refreshing the, the pool. So, I think I'm just gonna bite the bullet and just buy my 12 spices here. It maybe is a little bit... a little bit ridiculous to do, but, I mean, if I do it, then at least I do it. Uh, okay, that's not something that I can do. The berries are expensive, though. So I tell you what, I could, uh, I could sell all of these berries and actually make myself a decent chunk of change in the process. Let's do it. I mean, it's not as much as would usually happen, but, uh, but there we go. That is what it is. Right, so we still need to find that lighthouse. We still need to deliver a bunch of leaflets. A bunch of leaflets? What am I talking about? Uh, letters is uh, is the is what I was looking for. Yeah, Ravenburn Island. At least, at least with the guild tasks, it gives us like a direction of where to go. That is that is pretty useful. What is Stonelock over here? What's the? What is what is here? Like, why is it highlighted with a little uh, with a little pip? I don't actually know. Okay, so we can also go back up to Copper Scar. That's definitely something that we could do. Don't really feel the need to go and do that right now. I do feel the need to buy an island. That does seem like quite a good thing to do. There's a recharge station at Stonelock. Well, let's go to Stonelock and let's get another recharge over there. Even if it's only half a... Half a thingamabobber. In fact, you know, what's the point? Let's just go... Let's just go all in. 
Yeah, recharge everything for 12 gold. It's it's pretty much nothing anyway. Anything of interest here? Normal price for a bunch of sand. Uh, normal price for a bunch of berries. I'll take a bunch of berries, sure. Give me all the berries that you got. Thank you very much. And we help out uh, the trade post growth. And not to mention the fact that I also make myself a decent chunk of change in the process. Let's head over here. Red place up there. Ravenburn Island. And there's also a recharge station here. Which again just makes me a lot less apprehensive. Right. What have we got? Trade guild. Let's complete the letter. Brilliant. We get ourselves a brand new ticket. Which is lovely. Recharge station. I probably will indeed elect to do a recharge station thing. Uh, we're slightly underpriced. Slightly underpriced on the uh, on the sand here. That's So that's good. And then also dyes. Dyes are, are pretty good as well. We can sell these off, which I think we absolutely want to do. And then we want to try and buy as many dyes as we possibly can. Yeah, I mean, if dyes are, are, if dyes are cheap, then, I mean, you know, we're just... We're just kicking a gift horse in the face if we don't take that opportunity. Let's recharge for two gold, and let's remark at how unbelievably good value that uh, that recharge was. Yeah, I'll take that any day of the week. Uh, right, let's head up. I feel like we haven't done much exploring of the area around, around us. Excuse me? Fish god. Oh my goodness. Start feeding the fish god apples. Can I stop feeding the fish god apples? Oh, he approves. He likes damn apples. I mean, how many apples did I end up feeding him? All of them? I mean, I would very much have liked not to feed him all of the apples. But, I mean, c'est la vie, I suppose. C'est la vie. Right. What have we got going on over here? Gems. Ah, okay, this is, I mean, nothing really of interest at the trade post, but that's totally fine. We'll complete the uh, the guild mission. We'll take another guild task. Absolutely. Iron Mount Island. Sure. Sign on the dotted line. Recharge for four gold. Bada bim, bada boom. Let's do it all. Yeah, we do need to, we do need to seek knowledge from the giants in the southwest. I don't know if that's the same location as the lighthouse. But it's becoming a little bit of a problem that we do not have uh, the lighthouse in, in sight. So let's go, let's go and try and find the lighthouse. I mean, I know I've tried that before and I failed miserably. Uh, I could also do with, like, buying an island. I'd very much like to buy an island. I tell you what, let's head out over this way. Slow down. Iron deposits over here. I don't believe... I don't believe that we have much space on the ship, but we do indeed have enough space for a little bit of iron, which is free. Uh, cool. Total expenses. Uh, yeah, fine. Uh, 36, 36 bucks. As long as we don't go bankrupt again, I'm completely content. Right, scout once again, and this looks like iron as well, which is great because I don't have space for any other items in my boat. Aha! What have we got over here? We've got a recharge station, which I'm going to absolutely hit up. Fantastic. We've got a trade post, which is wonderful. Dyes, no. Unfortunately, dyes are not selling. Um, I think I'll just sell my iron, to be honest. I, I kind of like having a space free, even if it means that I'm selling it at normal price, so to speak. I still think it's worth it. Take a tourist on board. Sure. Uh, return... Uh, the mis uh, take a look at mysterious hands. Okay, I mean, I will ob absolutely do that. Any opportunity to try and uh, to try and get to try and get another ticket is stuff that I'm interested in. So let's head down this way. Cloud pole. Okay, it's a recharge station. I am the happiest of bunnies. And there's no quests available at the trade guild. Uh, the shipwright, we can purchase a ship. I mean, to be honest, purchasing a new ship wouldn't probably be the craziest thing in the world. We can only purchase two. I don't know if we'll have the opportunity to purchase any more. But, um, I mean, it's at least something to consider. There we go. 
Uh, as I say, we just want to map out. We want to map out what's going on. Scout for resources. Yep. Brilliant. Three iron. I mean, it's free. It's free real estate, you know, literally. Okay. And there is a bazaar here. Start trade. Try to sell any of your items. Sure. Let's see what happens. Does does that fly? Am I able to... Oh my good, I actually sold it. Okay. I can't believe it. So presumably I can only do that with one item, or I can only do that interaction once. I mean, that's cool to note. Uh, we are actually ridiculously wealthy right now. There's no recharge station here, so I'm going to chance it. I'm going to go down over this way, see if there's anything. There is not a recharge station, which is a little bit irritating, but that's okay. Buy or sell goods. Anything slightly underpriced, very expensive, normal price. Um, I'll pick up some more dyes. Sure. Pick up some more dyes. And then let's go and actually do a bespoke trade mission to try and sell a bunch of these dyes. So stone lock, supposedly, over here. There is, uh, there is good, there is good stuff. There's good prices. Let's go to Ravenburn. Hopefully we're going to be able to get here, yep, without completely destroying all of our charge, which is wonderful. Uh, let's go and recharge over here. There we go. I'll take a full recharge, please. Thank you very much. And then let's head right back on over to Stonelock. Slow down. I mean, that is just the most irritating thing. No new stock in Stonelock, please. I'm all about visiting Stonelock and selling off all of my dyes as quickly as possible. Uh, not the inn. That's not what I'm interested in. I will take a full recharge and I will buy or sell goods. And let's unload all of this. That is right. I mean, that is brilliant. That is absolutely fantastic. So that is going to net us 969 gold. Trade Post does not have enough money. You've only got 400 money. I mean, that's okay. Because what I'll do is I will just take all of your sand. And all of your... And all of your berries as well. And you still don't have enough money. Wow. Wow. Uh, I mean, that's a bit of a bummer. I guess I can just not take all of this stuff. But then I'm not going to have to, I'm going to have to not buy all of this sand, which means that I'm going to have to not sell some more of this. I mean, that's, that's really irritating. I mean, sure, I can totally clean you out. I mean, that makes me very happy. Trade post developed, more money and items available. Okay, there's not more money immediately available, unfortunately. Which is a bit of a shame. But that's okay. Cancel that. That's cool. That's cool. That's fine. Alright, what are my current quests? I feel like I haven't done very much. We need to deliver these resources to Copper Scar Island. That is absolutely true. Uh, mysterious Hands. I have no idea where the Mysterious Hands actually are, so why don't we have a little look on the map from Mysterious Hands. The Mysterious Hands seem to be up north here, I think? Or up here. Those are probably the Mysterious Hands. The thing is, thing is, I do want to go southwest. Like, I want to go southwest. I feel like we are near the area where the lighthouse and or the, uh... The, the gods would be our storage is full so we can't even we can't even mine that iron okay there's a forest here as well I mean I don't even know why I'm bothering to check out the forest because we're, we're full anyway uh yeah just continue down this way stoneborough sand pits I mean scout for resources sure do we have sand in storage oh yeah we do actually have sand in storage i mean i guess that's nice it's a little bit of free sand uh what i'm a little bit scared of now is that there's no oh there's no recharge station in sight as a as an island with an actual recharge station just comes into sight holy cow am i delighted by that that is brilliant just in the nick of time eh 
Uh, upgrade the ship. No. No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that at all. Recharge station. Recharge for 15 gold. Thank you very much. What have you got? What have you got? Anything that I actually care about? No. Nothing that anyone wants to buy? No. Nothing at all. This is a no, total waste of time. Fine. We don't have any space to take on take on any extra crew, so that's fine. I mean, we are in the southwest, so I kind of just want to have a little Isle of Giants. Oh, hey, this is good. This is good. This is exactly what we're looking for. I was waiting to say, let's have a little scout around and see what's up. All right, so ominous music in the background. Very, very nice. Stay and listen. And what do we want to do? What do we want to do? Gather resources manually. Banks want your money. Get 1% higher weekly interest rate. 25% off building upgrade costs. Sure, I'll take that. And I'll also take Master of the Winds. Why the heck not? Brilliant. Okay. Uh, we still haven't found the Ruins of the Lighthouse. If I have a little look at my quest log, I can see... The Lighthouse Restoration is in the southwest, and I, for the life of me, cannot find out where it is, but that's okay. Uh, we can always swing back near Parkford if we if we need to. So we'll just hover around this area on the off chance that we need to, to recharge ourselves and, you know, get a little bit more juice. No. Let's see what you've got. Sand. Anyone is Anyone interested in sand? Anyone at all, sand or or indeed dies, I'll quite happily clear you out. Let's take a full recharge, thanks very much. And we'll zip back here. Seaworth? Okay. Cool, I mean, part of me really wants to purchase this island. I don't want to really purchase this island, because it is miles and miles away from absolutely everything. I was kind of holding on to my cash with a view to buying something a little bit more useful. I mean, I don't even know why I'm bothering to come to a gem mine. We know what's going to be here. There's a recharge station over here. Let's travel this way a little bit. There's a recharge station up in Cloud Ford. Cool. Yep. Happy to pay those fees. No big deal whatsoever. And let's see what you've got. Sand. Sand! Oh my goodness. Okay, this is the greatest of news. We sell all of our sand, which is wonderful. It is expensive as well, which makes me feel even better about myself. Slightly underpriced on the tea leaves and on the wheat. I'll take all 50 wheat. Why the heck not? Let's do it. Yep. Uh, guild, there's no point in going to the guild because I'm, I mean, I literally haven't done anything for the guild in what feels like 15 minutes. In fact, that's actually probably a fairly accurate estimation of exactly how long it's been. Uh, but still no sign of this lighthouse. Right, what I think we do is... Yeah, we go over here, see what's up. I mean, this is a another island, another flippin' island. I really need to start just, you know, getting my real estate... my real estate game on. Mm, I mean, you're not, you're not gonna have anything that I want. You've got a ship workshop, which is all very well and good, but... Ugh whatever. We'll at least get a recharge. Why not? I tell you what, I could actually do with a ship right, because I, I, I would kind of love... I would kind of love to get a brand new ship and a better one as well. Right, well, I don't think... I don't think there is any sign of that lighthouse over here. Yeah, no sign of the lighthouse. I mean... Literally no idea where it could possibly be. Find the old ruins of the lighthouse. I mean, I am looking. I am looking, but there ain't there ain't nothing. I don't know what this little this little pip is saying. Yeah, it is a big. That is a big. Uh, that is a big trade post, though, and they would definitely benefit from getting some more dyes. No one else has got any more dyes nearby that I could perhaps uh, take up to stone lock. Ah, it doesn't particularly matter. Okay, let's head out this way a little bit. Slow down. Gem mine. New stock. I'm a little bit risky in what I'm doing here. Skylock, Apple Grove. But you know what? I just kind of want to... I want to give it a shot. 
wheat field. Two batteries taken from the storage. What have we got over here? Uh, nothing. Nothing inspiring, that's for sure. Recharge station over here. Brilliant. Let's go in and see what the, the situ is. The situ is. Brilliant. Aha! Okay, brilliant. That's exactly what I'm interested in. Sell me all of your terrible dyes. Lovely. Wonderful. And I'm even helping the trade post to grow. Brilliant. Recharge. Let's fully recharge. I'm almost out of batteries, which makes me feel a little bit apprehensive, but I think that's okay. Let's head up to Stonelock. I think, yep, you still you still got the opportunity to, to buy dyes. Uh, let's go and see what the situation is over there. Slowed down by the cloud, but that's okay. It's a wheat field. That is a, another place over there. That's cool. Let's go into Stonelock and see what the situation is over here. And then, you know what we're going to do? We're going to flip in head to actually complete the guild's quests. Right, recharge over there. Wonderful. Yes, that is very, 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 very good. Slightly underpriced. That's fine. Give me all the money that you got. Fantastic. And then let's fly. Right, so there is a bank. There is a bank over in Brightdale, isn't there? Yeah, so we still do have 720 ducats of debt, which is, I mean, well, it's not good. But this is a fairly long journey for us. But you know what? Let's let's chance it. We've still got a couple of batteries in the uh, in the car. It's a trade post. That's fine. There's a recharge station over here. So as it turns out, we kind of we kind of just missed we kind of just missed all of the the places that have a recharge station. I mean that's fine. You know that is what it is. Let's go and deal with the bank. We'll invest fifty percent. There we go and invest 50% more. So am I correct in thinking that, yeah, we actually have a proper investment with the bank? Now, I don't know what the bank pays us, but I like it. I like it a lot. Right, I'm not going to invest any more gold just in case something dodgy happens, but that's pretty darn nice if I do indeed say so myself. Is there a recharge station at Copper Scar? Is there a recharge station at Copper Scar? There's a quest, which we're going to go to, obviously. Stone deposit over there. There's a recharge station over in Northfield. Right, well, why don't we head on over to Northfield? We'll recharge over here, and then we will get the heck out of Dodge, and we will actually complete the guild quests as well. Uh, right, can I buy anything for a normal price? I mean, I can buy a little bit of iron. We'll buy a little bit of iron whilst whilst I'm here. Sure. Hey, you know, it's a little bit of, a little bit of side dealing. What can I say? I don't know what this this is. Crane module to gather resources manually. Okay, I mean that's cool. I'm I'm happy with the the crane module. We can we can probably get a hold of that fairly easily. I think that's one of the things that we can use our tickets to buy. Right. Slightly underpriced. I mean, the fact that the, the spices are slightly underpriced here, a little bit irritating. But that's okay. We've become more more knowledgeable. Seek the knowledge of giants to become savvier. All right. Yeah, not entirely convinced that I know what we need to do with inns in order to to gain their to gain their friendship, but that's okay. Sure. You know what? Let's just flip and do it. There's a recharge station over there. That's a bit a bit dangerous. Uh, do we make any money? Oh, there's a recharge station here as well. I don't even know why I'm worried. Cool. Let's go and let's go and do what we, what needs to be done over here. Let's, uh, let's recharge for 10 gold. Let's complete the letter. Lovely. Let's take a guild task. Deliver another letter. Fantastic. What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? Nothing. Nothing of interest. I'll take all the sand, I guess. Uh, that's, that's fine. That's probably about the best that we're going to get. Uh, take a tourist on board. Take a look at the, majest uh, the majestic carrot. The majestic carrot. Cool. So with that, that's our second tourist on board, actually. Which I'm fine with. Sand pits. Apple grove. Something else. A tea field. Cool. Well, let's head back to Iron Mount. 
And then we'll head over to, I think this is the Majestic Hands over here as well. So we'll go and do that. And then we will probably try and buy an island, actually. That is very, very exciting, if I do indeed say so myself. Uh, do I need to buy or sell any goods? I don't think so. I've already cleaned these, these dudes out of everything that I consider valuable. So now, let's go and do the mission over here. All right. There's a recharge station over at... Edgefield. Oh, so this is the this is the letter drop off. All right, even easier then. That's brilliant. Anything here? Slightly underpriced iron, but nothing else really that I care about. Sure. Recharge max, and then complete the letter, and I'll take another guild task. Farpole Island. Let's keep it coming. Keep it coming, people. Oh, even better. Even flipping better. Castle by. That's another inn, by the way, over there. I just saw it. Supply the inns. Find the inns. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll, uh, I'll go back in just a second. The mysterious hands. Right, no idea what to expect over here. Oh, well, I guess I kind of should have expected some mysterious hands. And I guess there they are. Take a look. Empower me. Oh, they give me batteries! Oh, how wonderful! I mean, that's brilliant. That's absolutely fantastic. Can I check how many batteries you gave me? Oh, fantastic! I'm up to 12 batteries! Okay! I mean, I cannot complain about that. That is, that is wonderful. There is a trade post over here. I am gonna go and just check out the inn just briefly, just to say that I've done it, you know? New trade post discovered. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, nothing that I really care about. The inn. Yeah, we need to still bring him a bunch of stuff, and uh, I'm nowhere near being able to bring him a bunch of stuff, apparently. But that is indeed, I believe, the third inn. Southford, you're the... That's the tourist. We need to return the tourist over there. Uh, there's no recharge station over here. That's fine. You know what? Let's go to Kingsford. Field of Spices, Forest. Right. Kingsford. Let's go to Kingsford. Oh, what is... What is at the post office? Nothing. Nothing is at the post office, apparently. Expensive. Anything that's expensive that we can sell? Mm, that's unfortunate. We'll take a full recharge. Oh, it's dirt cheap as well, which is wonderful. Uh, purchase a ship. I mean... We can buy... We can buy this. But this is exactly what we've got right now. Uh, we could buy the pink, but the pink is... I mean, it's it's kind of just a little bit better. I would prefer to go and find a substantially better ship, even if it was, you know, to be substantially more expensive. But that's okay. Alderkirk, let's go to Alderkirk and see if we can purchase the island. Let's see if we can go to Alderkirk, purchase the island, and, uh, and do that. Do what needs to be done over here. This will indeed be the first island that we will be purchasing. So we've got it. What does that mean? It means we can now manage the island. Brilliant. Well, what do I want to build? What do I want to build? I mean, do I need to bring the resources with me? Is that what I need to do? And what resources do I actually have? Oops. Uh, yeah, manage the island. Build storage first. Okay, so storage is the thing that we need to do. And we need to bring with us a bunch of logs, apparently. Right, recharges your ship for a much lower price. Yeah, the reason, by the way, that I wanted to buy this specific island, I should have probably explained that before um, before doing it, is that, I mean, this island is pretty much as close as it gets to central. So, I mean, if we can get a bunch of buildings over here that are really helpful, uh, that allow us to recharge perhaps for a little bit cheaper, then that will just, you know, that'll just save us a bunch of time, effort, and energy uh, later down the road. Right, let's go to flagpole... Let's go to Flagpole from here. And then we'll go to the Majestic Carrot. I mean, we are in for a decent, decent, decent amount of money. There we go. Rank Apprentice Achieved. Access to what? I didn't see what that was. It disappeared too quickly. Also, do you have any wood? Can I buy, can I buy wood here? It's a little bit of a darn shame. 
It was it was a long shot, but that's you know that's. I'm in it to win it. Right, take a look at this majestic carrot. Just give me 240 free monies. Oh, we can also do another little sing song with the magic carrot. Carrot. Right, take a look. There we go. Brilliant. Get that done. Let me sing you the song of my people. Let's sing. Blue red. There we go, easy peasy. Red, orange, blue. Red, orange, blue. Green, 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 red. Green, 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 red. Oh, there we go. That's how it is. That is how it is. What did I get? Did I get iron? It kind of looked like I got iron, but uh, I didn't really see the resource that, uh, that that was. But that's okay. Let's head on over down this way. See what the heck is over here. I think it's a guild mission, if I'm not mistaken. I'll take a full recharge. Complete the letter. Brilliant. Trade guild journeyman. Resource delivery. I mean, that is pretty irritating. The reason that that's pretty irritating is that is two resources. And I don't really like having two resources worth of uh, storage taken up by a mission. I feel like that's just not, not great. But, I mean, that is what it is. We're still after wood. We still really, really, really need to try and get some wood. Stonelock, have you got wood? Slightly underpriced wood? I will take slightly underpriced wood. And also the opportunity to sell off my sand and my... Uh, and my... And my grain. Both of which I would really, really love to do. Dearly love to do, in fact. Right. Recharge half. Sure. Max out there, just to make sure. And let's sell off this. I know it's underpriced. It does kind of suck, but it is what it is. Let's clear that up, and I will buy as much wood as I possibly can. And we'll make a whole bunch of money in the process, which is very, very nice. I'm still looking for a shipwright. Uh, where where do I find a shipwright? There was one in a ship workshop, but I need a I need a different shipwright from the one from the one that I found in. Uh, where was it? Kingsford, yeah. I have come across one before, but I don't know where it was. Right, should we go back up to Alderkirk? I think we should indeed go back to Alderkirk. Maybe it was Whitehaven. No, nothing nothing here. Let's uh yeah, let's see what let's see what we can do over here. We're we're gonna build our first building, which is of course gonna be storage. Wonderful! Okay, that was the that was that was brilliant. That was brilliant. Take or store goods, upgrade to level 2. I mean, I don't really think I want to do any of that right now. Yeah, I mean, just cancel that. I don't I don't need I don't need to I don't need to offload any of that stuff to be honest. Uh what I would like to do really is to see Cuts wood and places it in storage. I mean, that is free real estate. That is literally the definition of free real estate. Build a lumberjack's hut first. Oven. Alchemist. A tool workshop produces iron... Uh, produces gears from iron ingots. Uh, recharges your ship for a much lower price. And that's what you need iron ingots for, I guess. Caravan office. Build a recharge station first. Produces flour out of wheat. And dye. Okay, so we need stone. We need stone in order to get the... In order to get the lumberjack's hut. Well, why don't we store all of our wood over here since I'm so unbelievably disinterested in lugging a whole bunch of wood around with me. Same with iron, to be fair. Um, yeah, so let's do that. And then I guess we'll just head off. Sure, I guess we'll just head off. So it's going to take a little while for us to develop that island into something, you know, truly spectacular. But it needs to be done. Right, let's go to Southford. Let's try and completely miss that cloud. Also, I'm going to try and be a little bit more sort of liberal with my battery use since we now know how to recharge them. You know, we just go to the magic hands, we get what we need to get. We know how to we know how to get things done here. Right, what have you got? Anything that's super cheap? Nothing that's super cheap. I'll take your sand. I'll take your sand and I'll take your iron and uh well, I'll take some of your sand and most of your iron. And I will complete the mystery tourist, mysterious tourist hands thing. 
And then we will, I mean, well, we, quite confidently we could go anywhere that we want uh, to go, really. There is a ship right over here. Unfortunately, I have just, I've just sold all of, uh, I've just spent all my cash. Yeah, I'll tell you what I would love to do. Normal price. Normal price of stone at Ravenburn. There's a week over. That's fine. Base worker salaries. Turns out that we're actually paying salaries for workers now. How ridiculous is that? Absolutely ludicrous. Right. Ravenburn. Let's see what's, uh, let's see what's good here. Take a guild task as well. 16 berries. I mean, 16 berries... That's a pretty achievable mission, if I do indeed say so myself. Buy or sell goods. No berries to find over here, but that's okay. Five stone. Fine. And you know what? We could sell off all of our iron and make a, and make a pretty darn decent amount of, uh, of cash. So let's do that then. Sure. And that should allow me to get away with a little bit of iron or a little bit of stone, whatever. And uh, we can head on back up to our island, and we can actually, hopefully, build a lumberjack's hut. I mean, it says that we can't build a lumberjack's hut, but I should indeed be able to, what, just take this out of storage. Yep. And then build a lumberjack's hut right here. Needs two crew to operate. Well, as it just so happens, I think I have an oversupply of crew anyway. Yeah, so current crew is four. Optimal crew is two. So why don't I just send... Send one worker. Send one worker. There we go. That's how it's done. Absolutely fantastic. So the goods produced at the moment is one a day. Presumably if we were to upgrade this to the next level, which we can do right at this very moment in time. Presumably we would be able to get two per day. I mean, I don't want to be presumptuous, but two per day sounds like a pretty darn good amount to, to have. Uh, cuts wood into lumber. I mean, I feel like that is... I feel like that is going to be a challenge. Let's, let's just upgrade to level two. Sure. So that's two per day. Brilliant. Okay, so what we really need is we just need a bunch more lumber and we need a bunch more... Uh, a bunch more... Whatever it is, stuff, other stuff. Wood. No. Yes, we need wood and we need stone as well. Perfect. I'll take that sand back. Uh, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, how many buildings can I actually build here? I don't know. Is there like a limited number of buildings that I can build on a specific island? Build three out of five. Okay, so, I mean, look, what we want to build here is the infrastructure needed for us to... For us to make, like, a bunch of wood. So, we're going to focus on just, you know... One, two, three core buildings, I guess, and then maybe a recharge station as well, if at all possible. Uh, we should also try to think about maybe picking up another island where there's like a stone deposit. I mean, there's a gem mine. Oh, no, there's an iron mine over there. Iron deposits over here. There's a forest over there. Let, let me see what's up this way. Stone deposits. Straight up, that's exactly what I'm looking for. I suspect that this island might be a little bit out of our price range. Yeah, I thought it would be 600. I thought it would be 600 just because, uh, presumably, once you've bought one island, the subsequent islands become a little bit more, uh, a little bit more expensive. But that's okay. Is there any, any way that I can make a quick amount of money here? Slightly underpriced, cheap, normal price, expensive. You refresh on day four. So far pull refreshes on day four, and you refresh, uh, you refresh on day two. Right. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go over to Whitehaven, and let's let's all let's all do the maths on what I'm about to do here. Uh, by the way, crew and passengers. I should have reduced that, right? Yeah. There we go. We're on two. Brilliant. Uh, complete the previous quests. Yes, I'll indeed endeavor to do that. Recharge fully, and in the meantime, I could reduce tax actually, but I really don't want to do that. I really do not want to do that. Let me buy all of the stone, but more importantly, let me buy the iron. Right, so what I want to do is I want to see the entire price for this iron. So I'm going to pay 110, 110 ducats, 110 ducats for the iron. Keep that in mind, folks. 110 ducats for the iron, and then I'm going to head across to... 
I'm gonna head across to where was I gonna go? Oh no, I think I was gonna go and sell the stone, but I actually don't want to sell the stone. I want to keep the stone. All right, you know what? We can go to we can go to Seafell. We can go to Seafell. I just meh. expensive sand, slightly underpriced. Tell you what, I'll go down here. Go down here. I'll buy all their sand. Not the inn. I do want to develop my relations with the inns, but that is definitely a long-term objective. Right, buy all the sand. Yep. Buy all the sand. And then let's hit the road again and go to... Yeah, let's go to Skykirk over here. And then we'll head up to Seafell and hopefully we'll just make a gargantuan amount of money. I don't know. I don't know how much money this market has. I maybe should have checked that. Yeah, we're not upgrading the ship. Any shipwrights over here? No, no shipwrights. That's fine. Right, let's literally sell off absolutely every ounce of sand. Make a good amount of money in the process. Since the sand is so darned expensive. I'll take it. I mean... Not as much money as I would have liked to have made, but that's it's fine, I guess. Uh, still nothing that I really want to buy here. I mean, could buy all the berries since they're slightly underpriced. Sure, I'll buy the berries since they're slightly underpriced, and then we'll see if we can sort by berries. Northfield, 129 kilometers. All right, I mean, you're not making it easy for me, video game, are you? You're not making it easy. All I wanted to do was buy another stone island. Right, Northfield. Where Where is Northfield? I don't even... Presumably it's in the north, right? I have absolutely no idea where Northfield is. Ah, it's here. Okay, it's actually not that far away. Uh, when does it refresh? Refresh is on day day five. I mean that's totally okay. Let's go let's go to Northfield then. Sure, and let's discover more of the map as we go. Took two batteries? Ah, oh, who cares? Who cares? We're fine for batteries. We can go and see the mysterious hands whenever we need. I don't want to need to upgrade the ship. Recharge for everything that I've got. And let's sell let's sell everything here. Right, berries. Very expensive berries. Right. Unfortunately, we can't sell everything, but that's okay because that will allow us to buy Sure buy some more iron down to down to that amount brilliant. Okay, so we make uh, we make out with a ridiculous amount of a Ridiculous amount of good stuff there a ridiculous amount of money, but more importantly We get a little bit of extra iron, which is always really really nice So I just need or maybe I should just sell this iron to be honest. I don't really need iron at the moment. Yeah, look. Go go sell off this iron. And then go... Go buy a bunch of wood. Right? Go buy a bunch of wood. Go buy about... Yeah, go buy about that much wood. Trade post does not have enough money for this. Oh, yeah, that's true, actually. I forgot about that. Um, right, give me more wood. I'll take... I'll take whatever. I'll take the wood over the iron. I think that's arguably better for me. Right. So even though that's not a super great outcome for us, I think it's still okay. Kingsford, wood is cheap. That's cool. Stone is expensive. I mean, what I really just need is I need 600 bucks. I need 600 bucks in order to... in order to buy... in order to buy an island. Let me go and see, let me go and see my investment. Maybe it would be a, a good time to cash out the investment. Withdraw all gold. I mean, that sounds, that sounds like a brilliant, a brilliant thing to do. I don't know what my interest rate was, but it seems, I mean, it was probably too low. Just, you know, in before it's unnecessarily low. And then let's go back to Seabury and, uh, and let's build what we can. I think I should be able to build storage here. Of course, after buying the island. 
Purchase the island. Yes, please. Brilliant. We can, in fact, scout the, uh, the island for stone, which I will do, of course. Why not? And then let's see if we can try and build storage. Indeed, we can. I came prepared. And then we need uh, to build a stone mining depot. We can build an oven. Cool. Build a forge. Right. Well, we'll build a stone mining depot. And I would like to... I would like to send some more workers, but I don't have... I don't have anywhere near the number of workers that we need to. Uh, let me send one worker. Your ship does not have spare workers. All right. I mean, that that is what it is. Sometimes these things happen. Can I get this place upgraded? I can't upgrade it until I get more workers, apparently. Okay, that's cool. I mean, let me... Let me see. Is there a house anywhere nearby? There should be. I feel like there's a lot of stuff around here. Recharge station. There is a house. There's a house in Seafell. Well, let's go Let's go to Seafell just real quick. The week is over. I lose 34 for bucks. That's fine. Let me stop in Farpole, unfortunately, as I have to recharge real quick. Uh, I can't even take another guild mission because I just don't have the cash for it. That's fine. Expensive? How much did I pay for the the stone? I mean, I kind of need more stone, so I guess I shouldn't sell. Let's let's not deal with that. Let's not deal with that right now. Yep, and then just back over to Seafell. Do what I need to do. And by do what I need to do, I mean hire three people for 24 gold. Yes, please. That's what I'm interested in. Anything else that I'm interested in purchasing? I'll take... Uh, I'll take as many berries as I can. Sure. But you know what? I'll sell off some wood as well. There we go. Give me give me all that you got. Sure. I gotta find I gotta find somewhere to sell my berries, and I gotta find somewhere to sell my berries quick. Uh, cause the you know the weekend the weekend just creeps up on you. That's the the way that it works. Okay, Northfield, we can go via Northfield. How much money has the trade post got? A ridiculous amount, which makes me very, very happy indeed. Uh, let's go and do that on route. We'll sell off all of the all of the junk, which we have just accumulated. Get a little bit of a recharge. Lost I'm here. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. This is the advantage of upgrading trade posts without a shadow of a doubt. That is absolutely brilliant. Let's get a recharge and let's head away. It's probably about time that we consider visiting the, the Valley of Giants, but, um, but that's okay. Let's go and allow our stone mines to open up. Maybe we could get an upgrade in the in the process. Send one worker. There we go. Uh, apparently, we have nowhere near enough the, uh, the, the, the proper amount of wood because, of course, I just traded it away, but that's totally fine. How much wood do we have over here? 14 wood in storage? I mean, don't mind if I do. Let me just quickly head across, head across here and see what I can do with this wood. I mean, maybe we even get another upgrade. I mean, sawmill is 10 wood, but we can build that. We can actually build a sawmill. Build both of those things, actually. Right, take or store goods. Give me all the wood that we can. Wonderful. So it's 11 and 4. 11 and 4, and how much did, uh, did I say the, the sawmill was? Right, or the lumber mill. Let's build the lumber mill. Let's send all necessary workers. I mean, I think that takes us down to one worker, so it's not optimal. But that's okay. We do indeed get the opportunity to uh, to produce lumber per day. I I don't know. I don't know if um if there is. I don't know if lumber is an an option really. I don't I don't think lumber is an option. Certainly not yet. Maybe we need to see some more uh, some more upgrades before we're able to to get lumber. Why don't I turn that off for now? I mean, disappointingly, I'm not going to be able to upgrade the the hut to the next level. But that is, I guess that's fine. Let's make one last quick trip back to Seabury. Okay. One last quick trip back to Seabury. And let's hit our upgrade over here. There we go. And can we get another upgrade? No, we needed six wood and we only have two. 
I mean, that is fine as it as it transpires. I'll pick up the, the extra little bit. That's totally fine. Man, okay. I mean, this is good. I'm reasonably happy with the way that things seem to be going. Uh, so, I suppose, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to finish this here episode up. Thank you very much for watching this wonderful little game, Merchants of the Skies. My name, of course, has been Obita Potato. I, uh, I hope, indeed, you've had a grand old time, because I certainly have. I certainly, certainly have. And hopefully you'll join me for the uh, for the next episode. Thank you very much for watching, folks. Thanks as ever to my fantastic Patreons, uh, my Patreon supporters, and I'll see you next time. Bye.